All right, I did no prep for today's stream, so <laughs> I'll just do it during the stream. Why not? Whatever it was that I had to do. Uh, right. I think I was going to go back into this level and go back into the 2D section. And now the game is freezing. Okay, there we go. We have enough cards for... Oh, uh, well, actually, we could use more cards, but... It's probably fine. It's just that most of my cards are not colored right now. You know what I meant to do? I think I meant to grind coins. Yeah. Weird. Since when do I need coins? Oh, well. Yeah, I'm kind of... Kind of glad that we're getting to play this level again, because it is pretty cool. Maybe more people will get to see it this time. Although I'm confused about where the paint star is supposed to be, since I never found it. We beat the level, like, inside of here, but we never found the paint star, so I don't know how that's supposed to work. Maybe it's a different level now? But then that would imply that we have, like, a, a level select screen now. I meant to plug in, didn't I? Whoops. I have not plugged in. So I cannot hear the video game. There we are. It is Saturday at 6pm, so I wouldn't expect too many people to be here usually, but we're in uh, the apocalypse, so it's, uh, it's a different ballgame now. That's right, I can do this. I almost forgot. Oh, that looks new. I don't think I was in here before. Wait, what? Oh, okay, that's just the perspective, making it look like there's a... All right, moving on. So we're looking not only for the paint star, but also a single white space. Is this like... Yeah, I don't know, is it? This level is really freaking big, is it really? A double reference to Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Paper Mario? It kind of is, yeah. Also, I know I was wasting time during that, but... <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. I, I like this section a lot. I'm glad we're not done here yet. Oh god, what the fuck? It was worth, it was worth a shot? No? Hey, Gavin, how's it going? Glad you're all here. I hope you're all staying safe in the apocalypse. Yeah, all my cards are uh, <laughs> are not colored in right now. Hmm. I I really want to run away. Like, am I really not allowed to do that right now? There we go. Thank God. I don't know what I expected from the apocalypse, but it, it was definitely more interesting than this. What's going on in here? Nothing? Okay. And now it's too high for me to get up there. How do I get up there? I'm glad I got off this month. Been playing PMDX, but angry that I can't get a mud kit. <laughs> Are you still at the beginning of the game? 
So like you're still doing the, the quiz. What? <laughs> and yeah, I've been playing PMDX all day. And by all day, I mean like a couple hours because I got up at like, at like noon. I think we did this before. There it is. Let's see if you noticed it. Oh, the white spot? Did I miss it already? Shoot. <laughs> Might be worth going back to just to take a look at it. Or just or progress, whatever. If there's something back here I wanna I wanna get it. Is it this thing? I think it's that thing. No, it's taking different colors. Stocked up on my fallout shelter and not using it. <laughs> yeah, it's been really weird. This whole coronavirus thing, it's been a very strange thing to experience. Well, I am not seeing this white spot right now. Maybe up here? Oh! What? His eye? <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> Let's check the, the, the status. Yeah, we have 100% colorization now here. That's the only white spot in the whole level. That's crazy. That's right in the post game. I forgot. You've been talking about it on on Discord. <laughs> I get people mixed up. I'm having no luck finding and recruiting them. I see. There's also an annoyingly overpowered Gyarados that one shots my guy. And Mega Balls. Oof. Yeah, I noticed that in the post game, when a Pokemon like defeats one of your Pokemon, they like get the awakened status. So that can be pretty pretty uh, dangerous. Okay, well now that I got the white spot, I'm feeling much better. Now we just have to find the uh, the, pa the paint star. And this area looks new, so I'm optimistic. Is this new? This feels new. Boomerang, bro. Oh. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. This is probably overkill. Let's see. Let's see if I can. All right, let's see. The hurl hammer is very strong. If he's been in here, what happened to him when power surged? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> the toad, you mean? I don't know. It's really you. I thought I saw you earlier, but I'm pretty sure I was hallucinating. You were all blocky and weird. Anyway, I chased the green mini paint star in here, but that boomerang bro is hot on my tail. Let's get back to the real world ASAP. I'm going on ahead to the flagpole. See you there. Hmm. He's saying he's saying he's gonna meet me back at the flagpole. Why would I need to go there? Don't I need to find the the paint star? I don't like not being able to jump at all. <laughs> I can't reach that. Oh, here we go. We got paint. 
Ow. <laughs> 30 damage, okay. May not warp you out of the... Yeah, that would... That would work. But it usually does warp you out. It maybe I have to come back and rescue him afterwards. Ow. We have to fight him. We can't jump over him. He's too big. It's just him. Okay, that's that's cool. That helps. I'm gonna heal just in case there's like a boss coming up, which wouldn't shock me. If only, uh, I knew how much HP my opponents had and how much damage I do with all my attacks. I wouldn't waste so many cards then. There you are, come on, let's get out of here. What's up with those red pipes, Mario? Maybe we should see where they lead. Oh, so he's following me now. Okay. Well, I probably just want to take him out anyway. What's the deal? Guess we're going back in for a third time. <laughs> My work, uh, they, ha they haven't told us yet that we're gonna be working from home, but I feel like it's probably coming. <laughs> they said that if you have a kid who can't go to school because of the virus, uh, you could work from home for that reason. And maybe today I'll go through the PDF document that number at linked, or that he made, so we can get those cutout spots. In addition to the Luigi spot at Marble Lake Valley. So, I mean, Huey's set to go down the red pipe. There's nothing else in here? No, that's right. We've So, we've been in here before. Except for the Coliseum one. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, so we want to get into that that red pipe right there, okay. And I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Interestingly, I can't get another uh, hammer. I guess because I, I, I already have one in my inventory. That's probably why. entrance was... nope. <laughs> it's up here.
We found two things in here last time. It was the hammer and the flute. We don't know what they're used for yet. Okay, don't fuck this up this time. It is Mario 3, yeah. It's a reference. bad. <laughs> this is very bad. I see that boomerang, bro. He's gonna attack me once this... Yep. <laughs> if you went through the game not getting any pain upgrades, how tedious would this level be? <clears throat> That's a good question. I don't know. You'd have, like, a fourth of what we have now. So yeah, that would be... That'd be pretty bad. Expertly dodged and blocked. I was watching, um, I think it was Nairo. He was doing Can You Beat Subspace Emissary without jumping. That was pretty good. But I, don't, I don't think I watched the whole thing because it was like an hour long, but it was pretty good from what I saw. Finally! You got a mini paint star. <laughs> now leave. Yeah, getting the Sludge Bro card is pretty nice. We don't have to worry about that later. Alright, Numbrot was saying that he found the video with all of the, uh, the Koopaling attacks. And it turns out those attacks are kind of lame, so we're definitely going to donate those to the museum. Yeah, the problem with the enemy cards is that there's like, you know, there's like six different Shy Guys and six different Spike Guys. Um, do I want to go and get new cards? I might want to, honestly. It might be it might be time to <laughs> it might be time to grind money. Yeah, I have very few colored cards right now. They're all blank. You know, how come the rock paper wizard didn't show up anywhere? I'm not crazy, right? He like just didn't show up. I guess we can just go do one of the other uh, temples. I'm going in circles, okay. I actually used the shortcut, quote unquote. Maybe you. I don't know, maybe you have to beat the Rochambeau Temple in order for uh, the wizard to show up. I did not get 100% in Kiwana Temple. 
I'll get it eventually. Alright, I think we skipped one or two, but we're at number six. Isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer, and he never tries the same thing twice in a row. So that means if he's not the sharpest knife in the drawer, that means he probably does not do scissors. So we should do rock and scissors. Never tries the same thing twice in a row. That's it? Oof. The weapons of Rochambeau cannot be sheathed. They forever wait in the palms of our hands, ready to strike. And with that, the competitors will take the stage. This will be easy. I'm the Rochambeau Master. Yeah, I don't think we ever did. I don't think we ever did five, and I don't. We, we might have not done four. Wearing an armor of sun-kissed spikes, he stalks through the sands with the angry sun at his back. Green pokey. We decided this guy never does scissors, right? Oh, we did get the Wendy card? Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, because I got two in a row, didn't I? So this guy, all we know is that he never does the same thing twice in a row. So we can beat him as long as we can get through the first round. If we can get through the first round without losing, then we can beat him. All right, that works too. I told you, I'm the master. Nobody can beat me. He's the blonde bomber, the cantankerous cannon face, the regurgitating revolver, yellow sniff it. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> well, I got coins. That's what I was aiming for. We could go do the fifth one, too. If I can find it. I don't think we have access to another one, so that one's it for now. Anyway, I have coins now, so I can use those. Outside of Moss Rock Theater? I think we got them all. I think I checked 
the menu just to see if we had any paint stars left over in any of the levels. And I think we're good. Volcano's second star? I think we got that one. Unless the volcano is separate from the crater. I can check it real quick. We can buy huge hammers now. <laughs> They're very expensive. <laughs> Okay. Uh, leave. Well, we have mail, so we can check that real quick. I'm gonna try and straighten my back out here. Have you ever seen a door with spinning panels? I sure have. I've been hiding in five spots, not including the lab. The lab. I don't think I ever went back and got the Coliseum one. <laughs> have this up here. We're missing one here. I forget what this level was all about. I think it was kind of short. Yeah. <laughs> this is unfortunate. I don't have the burger anymore. do it later. <laughs> For now, let's just progress. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Moss Rock Theater. What's going on here? Whoa. What is up with this? <laughs> we, we did it. Presenting the Emerald Circus. It's fun, we promise. It says there's a circus. It says it's fun. I wouldn't lie about that. Do you see this piranha plant over here? <laughs> Check these guys out. like we can avoid these guys pretty easily if we want to. Oh, 
Okay, that was close. Fucked! I should have known. Yeah, we need another magma burger. Inconvenient, but it's fine. They're called twoies. This should work. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they have very little health. Okay. Takes like two minutes. Like literally just look around the first room. Oh, okay. That is after we go and get the magma the magma burger from Fort Cobalt. Which also doesn't take that long because we have the shortcut there. place is weird. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a new enemy? Really? Red roller guy. Do these guys have their own cards? Because I'm guessing they do. I still got a blooper. Didn't expect that, did ya? Excuse me. Oh, the shields. Okay. They're like shields. Huh. Hang in there, blooper. That should be more than enough. Neato. I wish, like, you know how if you get a perfect, you get coins? Okay, that's bullshit. Uh... You know, if you get a perfect in a fight, you get coins for it. It'd be nice if, like, maybe if you just blocked all the attacks, you got, like, a lesser prize for that. Just more incentive to actually try during the fights. They're throwing... <laughs> I, I almost didn't see that. They're throwing hammers at us. I'm 
I'm guessing we're safe if we're like up here or down here. Sombrero guy card? Oh god. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to go back up here. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Going very well. How do you... Okay. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Maybe you have to... Oof. Could we just not? <laughs> Made all my cards invisible. You know what, that's a good point. Yeah, we killed Kamek. He literally died. <laughs> Seriously. You wanna come up here and hit this guy? Oh, oh okay. Just any old attack will do. That's what I want to use my huge jump on. <laughs> this game has a post game? <laughs> Didn't expect that. Is there a pit of 100 trials? Don't answer that. <laughs> he led his shot. I didn't think in a million years <laughs> that he would do that. <laughs> I really don't like this. <laughs> this is very annoying. And now we're leaving. Now that we've lost all of our health. This is fun. Oh! Is that guy an enemy? I don't- I can't even tell. If he is, I kinda wanna just kill him. Yeah, he's an enemy, huh?
Let's see how much one big jump does. Kind of weird to give us orange paint. The trapeze is really difficult because you've got to pull off sweet poses and moves in midair. If I had just a little more time, I could have been the greatest trapeze artist of our generation. Didn't I say in the first place? You know what? I bet there's 50 of these toads. <laughs> At this rate, I think I was probably right. These guys are pretty weak, so I'm just gonna kill them. And hopefully get their cards. But I will use a mushroom while I'm at it. times three. So there's another area over here. Is this a, is this a secret? Is this where I want to go? This sounds like a paint star. Yeah, huh. Which means... <laughs> oh, there's just there's two here. What? Can I please just take them both? <laughs> please? <laughs> really? <laughs> just let me take both of them, please. There's a, a, a block up here. That's a little weird. Maybe it's a... Uh... There we go. Here's the thing, neither of these will access the next level, is my guess. So we don't know for sure. There's a purple one and, and an orange one. That's a little weird, right? Which should we get first? Neither. <laughs> Fuck you. We're moving on. Because if we can find a save block up here, that would make this much easier. I'm guessing. Feast your eyes on fantastic fire-breathing beasts at the Emerald Circus, Whammo. Lackey Fume. I did find it, yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Although, Nimble Rod did kind of give me a hint. So I had that going for me. Well, this is just awful. <laughs> How have I not gotten hit yet? I'm like not even trying that hard. I'm kind of just running in circles. for painting this poster. The 
Is this timed? What? It's a little too good to be true, in my opinion. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Glad you can make it today, folks. The encore is about to begin. Please put your hands together for this excellent encore performance by the legendary Penta Bros. Oh, we can fight him! We have new music, too. No mercy. Kill them. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Blinded by lemon juice. Oh, that's cool. So that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> For that one, you press A as it stabs them. Interesting. This was just a sneak peek of the face-melting spectacles on display at the Emerald Circus. Hey. No save blocks. Oof. Do we still have the fan? We don't, unfortunately. They did say to follow them on social media, indeed. <laughs> so is the big paint star right here? Because if so, that's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's right here. We got 100% here. Hey, that's cool. So we're going to do a couple miscellaneous things first. I mean, I could do these things in any order, just I want to do it now before I push it off too much further. We're going to get a magma burger. This is what I get for doing a nice thing. When we were done riding the Dragodon, I was like, all right, fine. Give him the magma burger. We're done here anyway. Didn't think I'd actually have to come and get another one. <laughs> We have some new cards we can drop off at the museum, too. I kind of like doing that ASAP just because it, like, it makes it so that I can't possibly forget. <laughs> so, like, I can't accidentally use it in a fight. Okay, so we got that. Back to the volcano. All the way up there.
Okay. Look around the first room, right? What? <laughs> oh. Was this always here? We can always buy another one, and he did get us to the Pain Star. So let's give Dragon Down the Magma Burger as a sign of our appreciation. Oh, we have to give it to him? That's dumb. <laughs> Um, I don't think we've talked to Trash Toad, but yeah, you're right, though. We should do that so that we're ready for the boss fight. If I had to guess, we'll need the hammer or the flute. But that's only my guess. Let's try throwing it again. Oh, were these guys from earlier? I said in front of us. In front of us. Like, right in front of us. Can't talk to him. Shambo Temple. Hooray. All the way down here. <laughs> oh shit, there he is. Let's get him. No mercy. I guess if you go to a temple when the wizard isn't there, you just fight like a shy guy at the end or a snippet. Because I think we've had that happen a couple times. It never changes spots once it's picked one. So the first guy will do the same thing every time. The second round opponent is usually all chain and no chomp. It's other way around when he plays Rochambeau, though. If anything, that means he can't use scissors? Because <laughs> it's like, he's usually all chain and no chomp. Oh, hold on, that means he only uses scissors. <laughs> yeah. I always talk to the Toad. It's not necessary. Super Rochambeau. Let's do it. Wow. No one's really sure what the heck this thing is. It's fuzzy. <laughs> My instinct says to use this. Instinct.
Got him. Time for another match with the Rock Paper Wizard. I wonder if at this point, like, what is our our match history? Has he beaten me more than I've beaten him? Because we've beaten him four times. Has he beaten us four times? Probably, yeah. <laughs> maybe this is like the the tiebreaker. Maybe we're, maybe we're going four and four right now. I didn't think about that one. He's a fucking cheater. No other explanation. Okay, well, we got the paint star in the volcano. <laughs> Let's go, Rock Paper Wizard. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, now, I guess we're going back into the forest to get those other two paint stars. This is stupid. <laughs> Wish I had a save block in here. Time for a speed run. Let's see how many cards, or what cards we'll, we'll be getting over and over again. I'm full. I kind of want the <laughs> the fire hammer, so let's see. We have a lot of flowers all of a sudden. <laughs> a lot of uncolored flowers. You will be needing another one of the performer cards. So, like, the one we got earlier, when we beat those boomerang bros and stuff, and the hammer bros. This section sucks. That's unfortunate. I guess I should... Hmm. Should I just get to the end of the level... Like, again, and just do that fight again, if they let me? I don't know if they have you do the same fight again. The roller guys have cards, too? I mean, I figured as much, but damn, that sucks. It was easy, since I used two orbs that raised my whole team's evasion and two other orbs that raised my team's attack and special. Nice! After using them, it was like a cakewalk. Energy balls, dragon breaths. When we fought Rayquaza... I don't think we were ever in any real danger, because I was just kind of brute forcing it with Bone Meringue. Bone Meringue plus, uh... Steamroll. I forgot about this, damn it. Also, we just had a bunch of uh, re reviver seeds, that's what they're called. More than a few reviver seeds? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Like, every time he used Hyper Beam? Yeah, I guess we did use a lot. Uh, 
I really wish there was a faster way to navigate your cards. This menu is no good. Like, it, it, I, I guess you guys have never seen it, unless you've seen, like, other gameplay footage. It's, uh, it's just a big line, a big horizontal line of your cards that you scroll through. And it sucks. <laughs> it's really bad. Can I at least get, like, categories? Like, here are all of your jump cards. Here are all your hammer cards. All your flowers. Just one big ol' line of cards. This is different. Yeah, they're here. Since my energy ball was beefed up, all of his hyper beams were used on my Nita Ren M, and they always missed. Never had to use any Reviver Seeds during the battle. Damn. That's pretty impressive. We used the Steamroll badge so that we could just spam Bone Meringue and have it hit Rayquaza. I think we also used um, the Protect All Orb, right? That might not have been that fight. Well, I got another Circus Bro card, so that's cool. No room. So the big flower cards, to paint them, you need like half of that color. So like half of all your blue paint. It's, it's quite a bit. Lasted like seven turns. That orb is so good. This is number seven? Yeah. Well, before we go back in, I will visit, visit the museum real quick. So we can make room for more cards. I can sell some too. I'm really enjoying the post game of uh, of Rescue Team DX. It's just really addicting. Like I haven't even done like any of the actual post game content yet. I've mostly just been grinding rescue missions. I did the one Smeargle mission, but that's it. I haven't gone to the first like actual post game dungeon because I'm a ground type. Although, hmm, I just recruited Zapdos, so I could probably use him in the ocean dungeon. Light spoilers. <laughs> he 
Huge jump. Huge line jump. Huge KO hammer. Hurl hammer times three. Hurl hammer times two. And we have more art to look at. Complete my home starter team. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, I guess. Right, so you started with Trico and Torchek, and that's why you're looking for Mudkip. Gotcha. Alright, we have more art to look at. Dark blue in. So this is all stuff for World 3, quote unquote. The Shy Bandit. I like the one with the purple mask. <laughs> Plum Park. They gotta stop showing me all this concept art where Mario doesn't have the ugly white outline. <laughs> it's Persona 5 Joker Shy Guy, that's right. the boss for the chapter right here. So this one's labeled Rock Paper Wizard. So this is what he looked like initially, I guess? Which is interesting, because that one on the left kind of looks like Dupless. Or just one of the Dupla ghost enemies. And the one on the far right there looks like a mini-boss from Paper Mario 1. Why? That one in the middle looks like he's baked. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I see. So, it okay. <laughs> That's just the toad behind the... Yeah, okay. I get it. I like the, the one in the bottom right. <laughs> it's just two toads. Rochambeau Temple right here. I wish they had different colors. That'd be kind of interesting. I wish they all had different aesthetics, but I think they all look the same. <laughs> 100% complete reward. That would be awesome. I would love that. Although it would be a little insulting. Here's the game show. And just forest areas. There's the giant coin. How many toads are here now? Alright, now I'll just make some room for more cards. I kind of wish the different... I guess it's just one shop in the museum, but I wish they were closer together. Just to make these trips a little, a little faster. sold like five cards. Let's see. Now we have 87. That's better. <laughs> Alright, we're set. I 
I guess we could go try the Rock Paper Wizard again, since we got a Pain Star. Uh, it's just so time consuming. <laughs> I'll check the shop again later, then. You're the one that decided to grind the game out. True. I assigned myself up for this. So, like, I was, I was gonna go on this tangent earlier, but it was right after we lost, so I was gonna sound salty. But, I mean, really, like, it's, it's kind of... Like, this is all kind of dumb. <laughs> the seven Rochambeau temples. And it's like a random chance if you beat the wizard or not. It's just a one in three chance. Like, at best, there's a strategy to it. But even in that case, you're still having to do it seven times. Yeah, honestly, if I if I ever play this again, then I would I would skip them, obviously. Although honestly, this game just doesn't have as much replay value as the other Paper Mario games. Those coupling cards aren't worth it. I agree. I'll probably end up doing some of the grinding off stream. But I think I mentioned before, I'll, I'll just play it by ear. I might feel like doing it on stream. I was actually thinking of playing Faye today. Because we have Grand Conquest now. With infantry bonus. Ow. Oh god. We literally killed him. It sucks, too, because by default, like on the bottom screen, it shows the far right side of your hand, which is where all of your mushrooms are. So it's like, no matter what, you have to scroll to the left. Wait a minute. So I just noticed, when you're putting cards into your, like, play area, I guess, on the bottom screen, it shows you how much paint it will consume when you use it. Or, like, if you were to paint it, it shows you how much paint it would consume. And it still does that even if the cards are flipped over like they are now. So I can actually use that to figure out <laughs> roughly where I am. So, like, in this section, all these cards use up a lot of blue paint, so I know those are all of my big eyes flowers that aren't painted. Good enough. <laughs> I was aiming for my jumps, but I mean, that's what that is, so hey. Get him, Mario. Oh no. He just won't die, I agree. It's stupid. <laughs> Hopefully these are not jumps. Perfect.
Wait a minute. Well, I'm glad I noticed at least. to do. I forgot to talk to the uh, the trash can toad. I will defeat him with the double E hammer. that. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Number 47. I guess we should play, pay closer attention to the numbers. Because that might give us an idea of, uh, of whether or not we've missed one. I love this room. I forgot about those guys again. <laughs> I can't believe they lead their shots. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I mean to waste so much time fighting them just to get the card, but... As far as like avoiding obstacles and stuff, yeah, that might be one of the harder rooms in the whole game. To be fair, you know what this game has that the first two Paper Mario games don't have is uh, more variations in the just default battle theme. In the first two games, you just get the same battle theme throughout the whole game, unless you're fighting a boss or a mini boss. This game has a couple variations. Although they come up pretty infrequently, but still, it's better. I know we got two of the uh, Circus Bro cards, but I think there's two different types. heard you liked hammers.
the two worst chapters in TTYD. Hmm. If I had to guess, it was chapter four and maybe two? Unless it's like seven. I mean, chapter seven is pretty unremarkable, but I don't think people hate it. Oh, no, it probably is chapter seven. Because of the the general white uh, thing. And yeah, I was going to say, I don't think any of the chapters are bad. But if I had to guess which two were the worst, it'd be, I guess, seven and four. But you know, a lot of people don't like chapter two either. I think people have bad memories of chapter two because they have memories of, like, uh, the punies being hard to control in the overworld. Where's that going? <laughs> Perfect. For when I need a shortcut to to the lighthouse. Is that the eighth Rochambeau temple? Check it out. It's like a big old square. <laughs> Takes so long to get there. Number eight. Alright, well, while I'm on this side of the world, I will, uh, try this nonsense again. Hey, Aureus. Gul, 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 gul. Gul, gul, gul to you as well. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, at some point tonight, Herp Derp Walrus, or Trent, is doing a, an amiibo tournament stream. And I might want to tune into that for a little bit. But also, you guys should also consider tuning into it, because it's fun. Trent is smelly. I have heard a couple reports to that extent. I wasn't going to say it, because it's not substantiated. But yeah, that is true. That that is out there. Have you picked an amiibo, Flynn? I picked uh, Shulk because Isabel was taken. And gamble on it. Fuzzy, go fuck yourself. Oh, do you think it always uses the same? Oh, wait, no. I mean, like, I, I know the gimmick is that it always uses the same one, but I mean, across multiple tournaments, I don't think that's how it works. Anyway. You did not choose one? Okay. Hi, Ian. Is Incineroar in the tournament? I don't know. I think he has all the amiibo except for, like, uh, the Fighter Pass characters, which makes sense because those amiibos aren't out yet, I don't think. Your brother's name is also Trent? Whoa. I don't think I've ever known a Trent in real life, so that's kind of interesting. Okay. Is Swimsuit Shulk in the tournament? That's the optimal color. I think the color he has for his Shulk amiibo is the orange one for Ricky. Yeah, because he called it Ricky Dicky, didn't he? Okay, well there you go. <laughs> so my bunny's on Ricky Dicky. But... But also, so during the last Amiibo tournament he did, because he does one like every season, I guess. Uh, during the last one, I bet on Isabel. Well, bet. I chose Isabel. And she won. <laughs> but I wasn't home to watch it, so I felt bad. Ooh, a giant tent in the middle of the forest. This must be the Emerald Circus, right? If you guess right, then you're a god. That's actually a good question. Because I don't think we've seen anything yet that, you know, requires a lot of green paint. Gotta think outside the box. Let's see. Mm hmm. Yeah, I really can't think. The orange one did the Dragodon. The purple one did that hole, which was very funny.
are we, uh, there? <laughs> I believe we're about to get the last big paint star. We've come so far. There's a limit of 50 tickets for Shy Guys, and they're all sold out. It's kind of racist. I heard the ringleader is preparing a special surprise for this performance. I wonder what it is. It's got to be Lemmy, I'm telling you. 100% Lemmy. If it's Roy, that's like the biggest plot twist of 2020. Or, uh, 2016. Because that's when this game came out. <laughs> he just let me in. Yoshis! You caged the Yoshis? This is disgraceful. Is this the leader? <laughs> I guess not, huh. I was like, wait a minute, he's got the red head, but the white spots. These guys aren't trained, so we can't put them in the circus yet. Their tongues are a liability. Well then let them free! You idiot. Yeah, do it, do it! What a piece of shit. <laughs> he said at least buy the guy dinner first that time. Alright, we're done here. Oh no, this is this is the leader, okay. The Red Rescue Squad is gearing up to bust in and seize it, but none of my 49 squad members have shown up. Over and out. Okay, so we gotta go do that. I mean, I guess I should check first if we can even get in. The final mission for the, for the Toads is to just wait in line. Excellent. Guys, I don't want to be alarmist here, but I think there's a chance that we're missing one of the Rescue Toads. Perhaps more. Very concerning. like we got them all or it's gonna wait and be like what you only have 48 people in line you need one more
100. <laughs> that would actually be pretty good. <laughs> Does every single one have dialogue? Oh god. <laughs> After experiencing the freedom of flying through the air, I think I'm going to start my own circus. I saw a circus troupe at Moss Rock Theater too. I wonder if that was a rehearsal. I can't talk to the one I want to talk to. I was in that bleepy, bloopy digital world for so long. I'm starting to think in code. The red pepper hot spring is the best. I'm so relaxed. Sometimes you gotta just let it all hang out, live a little. Thanks again for rescuing me from the Dragodon. It's like a little recap of everything we've done. <laughs> I don't know, should we talk to all of them? <laughs> You're a good listener, Mario. Everyone tells you their problems, but not many people stop to ask, how's Mario doing? <laughs> I live a totally carefree life, nothing bothers me at all. Well, except for the soul-crushing burden of trying to stay optimistic. No, damn it. Riding on top of the train was kind of rough, but the stargazing was worth it. Unique content. This is an ad playthrough. <laughs> All dialogue, you're right. Toad number 39. I'm more excited about the illusions than anything else. I hope they blow my mind. Like, pshew. I think I skipped one by accident. It's hard to talk to the right one. <laughs> Those fire-breathing dinosaurs. I've never seen anything like them before. I haven't seen a circus since I was but a wee spore. It was so cramped in that trunk. My neck and shoulders are as stiff as cardboard. I need a massage. <laughs> I guess we're gonna do it. Hey, Mario, rem remember me, Toad, from that other game we were in together? Why can't it start until they sell every last seat? Maybe it's not profitable unless the tent is full. Thanks for defeating those creeps who were running wild inside the Sunset Express. Don't get me wrong, I definitely need the speech therapy, but I don't know if I should read every single one of these. I was on the very bottom of the 30th toad stack in that train truck. Meaning I was the 30th to come out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. So I think the next 30 all say the same thing. Nope. They say different things. I think I'll try and beat, uh, or I'll try and get the big paint star first, and then we'll go over to Trent. No offense to Trent, but the first round of the Amiibo Tournament is very long. I can't believe all of these say different things. We're only halfway done, too. I don't really mind waiting in long lines. It gives me time to contemplate my mortality. <laughs> Mario, sir, I'm a huge fan. Thanks for taking the time to talk to a normal toad like me with no unique traits or discernible characteristics. This game was written by millennials, probably, <laughs> with all the talk of existential th uh, dread and mortality. I 
should have brought some Hanafuda cards or something. That's a reference! You've already beaten Morton, Iggy, Ludwig, Wendy, and Larry. Just two Koopalings left. If Sean is the only one who talked to all 50 of them. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't be surprised. It would be faster to dump the game on a computer and look at the text files directly. Probably. It was really quiet in the trunk, so I was able to devote my thoughts to the existential paradox of being trapped in this trunk of mortality. I want the Toads and the Shy Guys to get into a gang fight. <laughs> I hope that's the gimmick for this chapter. Aren't you guys glad we talked to every Toad? Oh, I forgot to talk to the Trash Can Toad! moments away from experiencing the Emerald Circus in all its glory. Without further ado, allow me to introduce our first act. It's the show everyone's talking about. Lemmy's Super Illusion Show. We need the magnifying glass, don't we? No. We already used that. It is I, Lemmy, the greatest and most humble illusionist in all the world. The things you're about to see may shock you, they may astound you, but they'll definitely impress you. Spotlight. Now the ringmaster here is just your average garden variety shy guy. Yes, you, don't look so surprised. How do you know we don't have it? Now feast your eyes on this, my magic wand. Phenomenal arcane power in a slim and user-friendly stick. Now you see him? He's dead. I killed him. What? Where did he go? Did I vaporize him? <laughs> you, sir, have you seen him? 
<laughs> thank you, thank you. You're easily entertained. And now... The big paint star. That's right. That's exactly right. It's a shiny green big paint star. Now watch closely. Oh no, he's sending it to the audience! Hee <laughs> key. Now, wherever could the big paint star have gone? Meow meow. You there, with the ridiculous mustache and the rusty can. Where do you think that extra special big paint star went off to? You didn't need that, did you? It's inside the ball. Oh. That Lemmy guy made it disappear before he escaped. That's not in the script. We've got a stall. Get out there and do something. Uh, hey folks. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. It seems that our main performer has vanished. So please enjoy this unscheduled intermission. <laughs> I like all the toes complaining. Mario, that lemmy guy. Must be Bowser's underling. I knew it the moment I saw that mug of his. I can still smell the big paint star, so it must be close. Let's go find it. How about we go to the trash? <laughs> what is he doing? Long time no see, Mario. Thanks for helping me escape that haunted inn. Just thinking about that place gives me the creeps. I came here to bust my friends out of that cage. Though I'm not sure why they wanted to get out so badly. Because they were in a cage. It's pretty clear. So I'm guessing to progress we have to go that way. Yeah, okay. We'll, uh... We'll check in with the trash can toad first. Sorry for the interruption. I mean, we have the hammer thing. Like, I feel like the hammer would solve most issues. If you hit just about anything with a realistic hammer, like, it's, it's probably gonna break. <laughs> You're not wrong. There are actually two things that could be interesting to you right now. A sparkly around thing that can create a party out of thin air. Find it backstage at the big top. A sharp and pointy thing that would make for a rather scary weapon. So it sounds like one of those is at the circus and the other is the ice pick. It sounds like we need like a party ball and an ice pick to pop the party ball. I could take an another look just to make sure there's not like another thing in there that's pointy. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Also, there's only one thing left in the whole game, which is presumably the party ball.
The ball that Lemmy rides is a lot more fragile than it looks. I bet a super sharp thing could pop it. He'd have to be distracted first, though. Yeah, like, if we, if we had talked to that guy first, we wouldn't have needed the trash can toad. I can't reach those... those coins. Just kidding, I can. I noticed that the toad said there are only two Koopalings left, so that means Roy is in the final area. Yeah. Yeah, the disco ball is looking pretty likely. <laughs> Sure enough. You can see the clown car back there. Nice reference. Look, I found one all on my own. <laughs> it's a huge mushroom and a big drill stomp. Please put your hands together for the Mario and Huigi Super Fun Time Show. Don't be shy, fellas. No, I don't do well in front of crowds. You guys like impressions? <laughs> Tin cans always be like <laughs> Tough crowd That joke used to kill back at the recycling plant I thought maybe because paper is recyclable too <laughs> Got any jokes up your sleeve? Please tell me you got something. What? <laughs> How long have we been able to do that? <laughs> they liked that, but my tin can impression flopped. Where is my mushroom at? These potentially death-defying performances will keep you on the edge of your seat. And with that, let's get this party started. And suddenly we're fighting. With new music. Please welcome to the stage, a terrifying green beast with eight heads, 16 eyes, and one wheel. The trick-riding, introverted, uni-psycho-shy guy. <laughs> Go, Mario. How hard could it possibly be? Oh, huh. 
Yoshi. Did I want him to eat me? study refill there are a dime a dozen <laughs> wow this seems like it'll be enough are you fucking kidding me Those guys are fired. Speaking of fired, let's give an unseasonably warm welcome to our next guests, the fire-breathing dino beasts and their miserable trainer. Hello, me hoi me no Happy to have you. Animal Trainer Shy Guy. How do I want to do this? Because if I try jumping on the Shy Guy, I might get burned by the dino. But probably not. Do I have to, like, act quickly before the Yoshi comes and eats me? <laughs> yes. So if I don't block it, I lose my turn. Got it. Splash? Yeah, dude, this is Pay for Mario Cool Splash. That did nothing? Okay, cool. A little concerning. Are these, like, different from the ones we fought before? Because they have a lot of HP, it seems like. Without a trainer, the wild dino rhinos will start raging. Hang on to your mustache. Jesus. It's a four-part attack. It's a backup trainer. Lucky you. Just don't heal them, please. That's all I ask. be enough right there, but I'll do that for safe measure. And also, uh, all right, let's see what that does. I should have used the normalized flower first, so that way we don't waste one of these on the shy guy, but whatever. This 
Still not enough to kill them, I don't think. They just have so much HP. Why haven't they put Paper Mario in Smash? Can you aim for the other one, Mario? How does that sound? No? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. So much health. And here comes Yoshi. Okay, great. I have a lot of power blocks, so I should probably just use some of those. Okay. This has to be enough. <laughs> A random defense spike when the trainer dies? Oh, maybe you're right. very quickly. <laughs> Good job. I wonder if this will work in this fight. <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there. I need blue paint, so I'm gonna use this. Get him, sniff it. Of course. This is clearly overkill, but I'm running out of options. The Iron Shell to Buzzy Beetle Tower of Terror. Okay. It's a good thing I saved that iron jump. <laughs> What's up? How are you? the ban button. I'm not sure what's going to work here, so I'm going to try a couple things. I know that, in theory, the iron jump should work, but... I 
I did, 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 did. Oh, great. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I'm out of iron jumps. I have some things I can throw at it. But I might even want to save those for the boss. Brute force, brute force. Let's see what happens. Blocking in the middle of an attack. That's interesting. I'm dying out here. So I guess ideally you want to kill the top guy. And then use your hammers. Or whatever else. Alright, that should be more than enough. This is... Uh, that's clearly overkill. Okay, fine, just do that. I had an extra big KO hammer on there, but it seems unnecessary. Oh, I thought that would hit the top guy. Okay, well... If they get healed in any way... <sighs> the final act. Oh, okay, not the final act. <laughs> I'm not going to be happy when my hop slipper gets eaten. Yeah, screw you. Get lost. <laughs> See, like... <laughs> This is why I never want to use all, all my card slots, because it's like, yeah, I could use all four cards to try new things, but, like, why even bother when something like that's going to happen? <laughs> Set the hammer and then do the jump. Okay, got it. Thanks. <laughs> How many are in that stack, you think? Seems like quite a few. Oh, here we go. Let's use that. Thirty jumps, my dudes.
There we go. What a breathtaking show. Put your hands together for all of our performers tonight. Can I heal now? A save block? Oh, there we go. This is nice. <laughs> and that's our show, folks. Many thanks to the stars of our show tonight, Mario and Huey. Thanks for joining us tonight. Don't forget to stop by the merch table on your way out. I don't care about the sticking merch table. I want that big paint star. Oh, okay. Wow, huh? Let's just grab it. There's a hole in the tent. This must be where the star came out of the tent. Some illusion. Probably. There's always battle spin. For some reason, my magic wand doesn't have any effect on the paint star. So the only way I could make it disappear was to employ a little sleight of hand. But no matter, the point of the circus wasn't to show off my magical prowess. The point was to steal the paint star and embarrass you in front of a giant crowd at the same time. If you already had it, that's not stealing. Probably could have afforded to leave. But oh well. Said I couldn't get Animal Crossing Switch. They all sold out. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I know a lot of people were excited for that. I didn't even know they went on sale, actually. Oh, great. <laughs> so what happens when you hit Lemmy? Nothing, okay. I'm guessing we have to get it so that Lemmy's the only one on screen, and then we use the ice pick. Oh, that one hit him. Thing. Did it say that? <laughs> I I don't remember that at all. I mean, either way, I was gonna wait for like some kind of prompt to uh, to tell me when to use the thing. But I don't remember them saying that specifically at all. <laughs> if I'm being honest, very low on colored badges at this point. <laughs> Battle spin. Oh, I can't battle spin. Hmm. Maybe because I already had cards chosen. That might be the reason. Really? Oh. I thought he was going to spawn more dudes. I forgot he could do that.
Time for battle spins. And I got a mushroom. <laughs> wow. Great. I do want to use that, but I want to wait. Hopefully this all works. I want the huge jump to hit Lemmy, obviously. There. <laughs> I was ready for it that time. He has a lot of health. <laughs> it's probably not from this game specifically. I think these Prana Plants, the Tuis, they're like, uh, they're in the 2D games as well. Is this overkill? Probably. Just use the ball? No, we have to get him to we have to get him to some level of health where he does something. <laughs> Eventually I'll get prompted to do something, I think. Unless the disco ball's like a bonus thing you can use in this fight? Just to make it easier? We don't have like a precedent for that, so. You got experience in this game. I could get a whole lot of experience just from killing these guys over and over again. I'm ready to move on in this fight, so I'm gonna... <laughs> I'll save that one for later. Using the hammer. Hopefully the hammer isn't like a <clears throat> single target thing. He just left. God damn it. I don't know what I expected. I somehow got an excellent for that? Okay. And that's why I have to use the disco ball first? Oh, to distract him. Oh, shit. But I mean... With all the other Koopaling fights, like there was a particular time in the fight you were supposed to use it. That's not really the situation we're dealing with right now. What is his baby's first battle? Applause. <laughs> I mean, should I just go ahead and use it? I'm kind of worried about that. 
Oh, battle spin again. I actually got the one I was going for. I got a replica of the hairdryer. I am out of jumps. <laughs> I'm now realizing. All I have is line jumps. That might hit him. The flame hammer. Well, that's not good. You could always reload. Yeah, we did just save. <sighs> These fights can be really annoying sometimes. I just need to do, like, a little more damage to Lemmy, I'm guessing, before... before we're good. I think my most consistent complaint with this game is how stupid it is that you can't see your... <laughs> your enemy's health, or how much damage your attacks are doing. Yes, the line jump not ideal for this, obviously. Definitely not power bounce. I did it? My magic wand can transform into a magic ball. A wonder ball. I guess this is it. Yeah, it's probably time. Oh, he just left. All right. Okay, good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does the disco ball do in other fights? Is it just this? <laughs> a disco... A disco what? With the disco ball, the groove is too much to bear. I've got to boogie, indeed. I wonder if you can do that earlier in the fight. Probably not, but... Gotcha, bitch! You popped my Wonder Ball. Do you even know what that thing retails for? Gotcha, bitch! We're in the clear, I think. <laughs> Thank Christ. Just unload on him. These are like the last colored <laughs> cards I have. tonight, Mario. You must have really enjoyed the show. I admit defeat. A spectacular defeat. There's more drama in defeat anyway. Victory is so overdone. <laughs> Whatever. That would have been a cool fight if I <laughs> was more prepared for it. How did I reach it? 
Okay. We'll wrap it up pretty soon here. I feel bad for going so long because I meant to I meant to host a Trent. All right, what will the green paint star do? Is it over here? It's off the map. It's literally off the map. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> what? <laughs> You guys heard that, right? That was Luigi. I couldn't quite tell which colorless location the green big paint star was stored just now, but now all the big paint stars are back at Prisma Fountain. Under normal circumstances, the Toads and Prisma port just kind of fuck around with paint all day. <laughs> Photos taken seconds before disaster. He just wanted a cool looking shell. This whole game started because Bowser wanted a, a cool shell. And then he got possessed. <laughs> Whatever, man. You're telling me we could have avoided this entire game if we just installed a don't mix the paint sign? Oh well, hindsight is 2020, and I've really enjoyed getting to know you, Mario. But our quest isn't over yet. Circus music. Or disco music, that works too. Where's Dragadon? We did it, boys. So now that the big paint stars are here, the only thing left to do is rescue the princess. Oh ye of little faith, Mario Huey, as promised, we will show you the way. Behold, the power of paint. It's a paint black hole. Oh no. And now, time to see what you repainted. Oh god. It's Bowser's lair. Bowser's black base. <laughs> black Bowser's big base. It 
It's like some kind of rainbow, but also like a road. A road made out of rainbows. That's ludicrous. If this is what the paint stars gave us, it must be right. So that's it. Oh, I'm trying to leave. <laughs> New overworld music. So we're still not entirely sure what Huey painted, or what the paint star painted. I can't get up there? <laughs> not in the overworld, at least. Alright, well that's it for today. That was fun. I was thinking maybe, oh well actually, yeah, I was thinking we had a pretty good chunk of the game left, but if we go for 100% we probably do. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Get back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, should I go back in or should I end the stream? I don't know. We'll save it for next time. There you go, cliffhanger. Yeah, I'll go ahead and host Trent. Alright. Catch you guys later. Stay safe, wash your hands, etc.